Garagi. The Garagi people inhabit a fertile, semi-mountainous region in southwest Ethiopia, about 150 miles southwest of Addis Ababa, bordering the Wash River in the north, the Gibba River to the southwest, and Lake Zue in the east. The languages spoken by the Garagi are known as the Garagi languages. The variations among these languages are used to group the Garagi people into three dialectically varied subgroups, northern, eastern, and western. However, the largest group within the eastern subgroup, known as the Silte, identify foremost as Muslims. Garagi houses are famous for their neatness and symmetry. They are circular structures held together without the use of nails with wooden spokes protruding from a center pole to support the thatched roof. Locally made pottery hangs around the inside wall in neat rows. The Garagi live a sedentary life based on agriculture, involving a complex system of crop rotation and transplanting. Hence it is their main staple crop, but other cash crops are grown, which include coffee and chat. Other foods consumed include green cabbage, cheese, butter, and roasted grains, with meat consumption being very limited, also used in rituals or ceremonies. In every part of Garagi elders are selected to maintain security within the country. The group works hard to settle the difference between individuals. And make sure there exists a fair administration within the community. A southward Semitic migration during the medieval period is often used to explain origin of the Garagi. Garagi people are known as hard workers and as a model of good work culture in the whole of Ethiopia. Dorzi. Dorzi are a tiny ethnic group within Ethiopia whose language falls within the Amadic family. Being around more than 30,000 in number, they live in the southern area of Ethiopia, although a number of them have moved to Addis Ababa plus other areas. They mainly live in the villages near the cities of Chencha and Arba Minch, in the semi-Enomo zone of the southern nations, nationalities, and peoples region, formerly in the Gamu Gofa province. Their residence stretches from the Omo River banks to the highlands over Lake Abaya. A major profession for most of the Dorzi is weaving. Widely recognized cotton weavers, this Dorzi tribe once were warriors. They are renowned for their beehive huts, as well as cotton woven cloths. The Dorzi people stay in large communities just north of the beautiful Addis Ababa. The history of Dors is not much documented. However, all the available anthropological and linguistic sources aver strongly that the Dorzi had lived in the areas of Gamo Highland in Ethiopia's Omo Valley, the cradle of mankind for many centuries, before the conquest of Menlik II in the late 19th century. The culture of Dor is said to be a blend of the culture of two different groups. The first group consisted of the 23 clans who have claimed that they have lived permanently in the Dor's homeland or come from the neighboring Amedo speaking areas. The other group consisted of the three clans who claimed to be migrated from the northern part of the Ethiopian Empire during the first Christian Amhara penetration, which was an aid to have happened in the 15th and 16th centuries. The settlement of Dorzi peoples lives on hills, and they are famous for their huge huts, resembling a giant beehive. Although these huts look fragile. The economy of Dorzi people engage in small-scale farming or subsistence agriculture and keeps livestock such as goat, cows, and chicken for domestic consumption. They grow their food and use terracing as a preventive measure against soil erosion on the mountainside. They cultivate highland cereal in their farmlands. They as well grow tobacco, spices, fruits plus vegetables in their compound.